Hi, welcome to another video. So, Bolt has announced that you can now build mobile apps with it. Yes, basically, Bolt can now build native mobile apps for you based on Expo, which is a React Native framework for building mobile apps. And not only that, you can now even build and deploy them through it to platforms like the App Store or Play Store, which is kind of insane to think about. You can build both iOS and Android apps simultaneously because, as you know, with Expo and React Native, the same app gets translated both ways. Now, you may be wondering how the building process and everything for the apps will work because Android requires Android Studio while iOS requires Xcode. And not only that, you also need to manage databases and authenticate. Well, they say that they have partnered with Expo for that as well, and they are going to use EIS, or Expo Application Services, which allows you to basically build and submit to the Play Store and App Store all through the cloud, which is great, and Bolt can take full advantage of that. So, let's dive in and see how we can make apps with it. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Photogenius AI. Photogenius AI is an all-in-one AI-powered art generator that allows you to type anything and get stunning visuals instantly. Photogenius AI gives you all kinds of image generation models in one place, whether it be Flux, Stable Diffusion, Kardinsky, or any image generator model that you can think of. They have also recently added their new 3D generation suite, which allows you to give it a prompt or an image, and it can generate a 3D model for you that you can use anywhere. Not just that, it also gives you the option to do advanced AI image editing as well, with their cool AI tools like an AI avatar generator, background removal, logo generator, emoji generator, or even add an app icon generator. And the best part is that it starts at only $10 and you can get an additional 25% off these already great deals by using my coupon code KING25. So, make sure that you check out photogenius.ai through the link in the description and generate some cool stuff with it. Now, let's come back to the video. First of all, you'll need to come to Bolt and here you'll see this new thing, which, if you click, will give you a prompt in the box. You basically just need to write what app you want to create and ask Bolt to build a mobile app. I'm going to ask it to build me a good-looking chat app that uses the OpenAI SDK. I want it to have a light theme with the user request in a blue bubble while the AI response is in gray. Now, just write a basic prompt and then hit the Enhance button because it really makes the prompt more detailed and you'll generally get the best results this way. Once done, it will have the prompt enhanced, and now we can just send in the prompt as required. Now, once you do that, you'll see that it starts working on it. It works quite similarly to how it generally works in web applications. You can see that it's writing the code here, and it first sets up the template for Expo, and then goes on to lay out and create the relevant tabs for this. You can see that we now have some new files that refer to the screens we want to use, and if we wait a bit, then it's done. Yes, you can see the app that it has built here. It looks pretty good. Obviously, this won't work because we don't have the API set here. You can set the key in the env variable and restart it, or you can also edit the code and just insert it, as it's super editable and everything which is great if you want to do that. But let's try asking it to give us an option to set the key within the interface itself. Once we do that, you can see that it starts working on it again. Let's wait a bit for it to finish. And with some movie magic, it's now done. You can see that we now have the option to input the API key right here. And once we put it in, we can use it. You can also edit the code and change the base URL 
if you want to use something else. But this is looking pretty good. I mean, it's passable as a proper app, which is quite great. We can add some things like a model drop-down and such, but I don't want to do that right now. So, it's a little disappointing because they said in their stuff that you can deploy from Bolt, but it seems that this feature is currently in progress and not yet available for general users. Instead, we'll need to download it. So, let's just download it from here. Once we do that, you'll get the repo as a zip file, which you can then unzip and open in VS Code, Windsurf, or whatever you use. Now, we have the code here, so let's just open up the terminal. Once we do that, just run npm install, and it will install the dependencies for the code. Once done, we can now start it. To do that, you can just run npx expo start, and it will begin. Now, you can view the app on the web, or you can also view it on your mobile by downloading the Expo Go app, scanning the QR code, and opening it on your mobile accordingly. Anyway, for now, let's try to run it on the web. And if we use it, then you can see that it works similarly to what we saw in Bolt, and it's pretty great to see. You can see there's some animations and whatnot. This is quite good, actually. So, it actually works pretty insanely well. Now, I just want to touch upon how you can deploy it as well. First of all, there are a bunch of ways to deploy. The recommended method, according to Bolt, is to use EAS. So, just run npm install EAS cli, and it will install EAS. Once done, you'll need to navigate to the app.json file, and here you can update the package name and app name to whatever you want, including some other details, and you'll also want to update the app icon to something that corresponds to your app, which you can change over here and insert the correct resolution images. After this, you'll need to run the EAS init command, which will show you some prompts to select your account and configure deployment. So, just do that accordingly, and then you'll need to run the EAS build configure command, which will ask you to create a git repo and then choose the platform for which you want to deploy. It will then create a config file for you. I won't be deploying to the App Store or Play Store, but I can show you how you can deploy to the web. You can just run npx expo export platform web. Once you do that, it will create the production bundle, and then we can run EAS deploy prod, and it will ask you to provide a project name, on which basis it will generate a URL for preview, and then it will get deployed. You can just open it up, and boom, you have the app on a URL which you can share and use as much as you want. Now, if you want to deploy it to some other place, then just run the EAS build along with the S operator, and it will ask you some questions and push the bundle to the App Store or Google Play Store as required, which is quite exciting. I think this is pretty good. Integrating Bolt with Expo is a super good option, as it allows you to basically get your apps up and running fairly easily, and then you can use them as much as you want, which is quite great, and it makes everything seamless. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.